What's up guys, LBF back here bringing you guys another Vans review. Today I have the Vans Vault times Blends Old School Zip LX. Colorway is black. These are size 12 and these retail for 160. Starting off the box here, you have a black drawer style box which features your Vans and Blends logos throughout. On the top of the box here, you have the same graphic that they used on the last release. It's got a wolf with some eagle wings, a bike, and a mountain range there in the background. Same graphic is on the dust bag as well. This is the second collaboration between Vans Vault and Blends. The first one being a skate high that dropped last year in honor of their 10 year anniversary. This old school is done up in the same style as the Skate High. It has the premium leather uppers with the bone jazz stripe and the zipper as well. Blends is a chain of sneaker boutiques located in Southern California. I actually picked these up from the location in downtown LA, camped out overnight for these guys. Definitely a hidden store for those of you who have never seen the Blends location in LA. They don't have any logos, signs, nothing. Very small storefront. Probably the most hyped shoe of the year by far, considering a lot of people have been waiting for these since the sample picks shortly after the Skate High was released. Not to mention Blends hyping this every single day for the past month on their Instagram. So definitely up there as far as one of the most expensive releases. Definitely worth it as far as quality goes. The, as I mentioned, the leather on here is a very premium leather. The best leather I've ever felt on a pair of Vans, honestly. Super buttery, very soft. You even have the same leather on the interior of the shoe all the way throughout the toe box, on the walls, everywhere. Very nice leather, very nicely done. The laces are very thin waxed lace. That bone jazz stripe is done up in the same leather as the black leather throughout the shoe. Very smooth, very soft. You got your white midsole with the black piping, black gum waffle outsole. It's got the black off the wall tab on the heel. Leatherback Ortholite insult says blends designed by Vans. And then you have that little um, mark there on the back, the little seal. This release was limited to somewhere around 300 pairs. That's the rumor. Personally, I think it's probably a little bit less, somewhere around the 200s. I know a lot of the stores only got around 30, 40 pairs per, so that means that most of these were definitely online. There were only four blends locations and then the online release. Very limited shoe. Not as limited as that Skate High. The Skate High was limited to 100 pairs, so definitely not that limited, but still, nevertheless, with all this hype going around, it's definitely hard to get your hands on a pair. These do fit true to size, unlike the skate highs, which did fit a little bit bigger. Not exactly sure if the quality is the same comparing these two shoes. From what I've heard, these old schools have a little bit softer leather than the skate highs. I can't tell personally because I've never actually felt the skate highs, but as I mentioned, this is definitely the best leather I've ever felt. It's crazy. Well, I hope you guys like this review. Be sure to stay tuned for the on-feed. 